Hi guys and girls on YouTube, welcome to my channel. Well, I've got an interesting little video here to show you. Um, now, I can't tell you anything at all about this item um, because I didn't even know what it was myself. Um, I actually bought it blindly without even know what it, what, knowing what it was. But it turns out this is quite a rare item. Um, so if we turn it round, I'll show you what it says on the label. Uh, that's the label, it says Radio Sunday. And it's dated 26 September 1975, made in Mansfield, Nottingham. Um, now I didn't know, I hadn't got a clue what this was, but I've researched this on the internet. And it turns out it's a transmitter that you attach to a weather balloon and you send it high up in the sky. And it actually transmits meteorological um, data about, um, about the weather down to a base station on the ground. So let's stop the camera and just have a quick look in the box. Right, so we're inside the big box, there's three small boxes, um, and there's also this chart, which seems to be some sort of calibration certificate. So if we just open that up, um, and we have a quick look there, um, it says calibration chart, so presumably um, this thing's been tested and calibrated, so that's the first thing in the box. Right, this is what's in this box. Um, these appear to be some sort of sensors. Um, I would imagine that, with that round disc on, um, is for measuring atmospheric pressure. And also you can see there, um, there's a plug. It's designed to plug into something. Um, there's also another one of these which has got the same plug on but it has some sort of different sensor in there so that's what's in the first box let's look in the next small box uh, there again we have some other sort of sensor uh, and by the way all this looks all, it looks like it's brand new, it's all clean. Um, I've no idea what that is. Um, but they appear to be three different sensors. And uh, they also I really not got a clue what they are. Um don't know what that is either that could be some sort of aerial uh, but that's the bits we've got so far so if we move to the big box this has this thing in let's just stop the camera while I get it out right now this bit appears to be um, I would imagine that ties to the weather balloon and then it floats up into the sky um, now what makes this a very rare and unusual item is if we take that off you can actually see it's got three valves inside and um, a big coil which would this would appear to be the radio transmitting part. Uh, now the valve is an ITT HL23 um, in fact they're all HL23s which I'm not just sure what the what they are off the top of my head um, but that's the contents of the inside I don't know whether you put a battery in there or not um, I've no idea um, now like I mentioned these things that I presume are sensors have a plug on and I can see where that goes now um, if we look onto there that would appear to plug into there um, so let's plug them all in and assemble the thing Right, well that's it, all assembled. Um, I've not clamped the lid down, um, but you can see um, that there is probably where it hooks onto the balloon and then it floats up into the sky. Um, now you've got, if I turn them round, um, all these sensor things are plugged in, as you can see. Um, so, I've also looked up on the internet uh, just quickly what them valves are and the uh, 2 volt heater 
battery operated triodes um, so let's take a look in the bottom then where um, I'm assuming the battery should go and see if that gives any clue about what it runs on right so if we just grab hold of that and give it a pull that's it the bottom's dropped off there um, turn it upside down um, there's three bare wires there um, so there's no battery connector so I've no idea what power should, this should run on or anything but that's the underneath view and um, I've just noticed I don't know if you can see in the camera um, but in that bottom bit there seems to be like three sets of contacts and there's a cog in the bottom um, and I've noticed there's a knob there if you turn it it turns a cog underneath so I'm wondering if these fit onto the outside somewhere to catch the wind um, and they actually spin this round and it turns that thing in the middle um, I'm not really sure why you would do that um, unless well I don't really know unless you're transmitting three separate sorts of signals um, which, which there's three contacts and there's three valves and there's three sensors so I wonder if it only transmits um, one set of data at a time but um, yeah you probably I've never seen anything like that um, that's probably sort of the perhaps the sort of thing that I should be uh, putting into my museum so yeah all right guys thanks for watching and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Goodbye.